Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about testing prompts with the React testing library, which uh, will actually be pretty simple. Um, we will work with the same example as in the previous video. Uh, so even if you haven't watched that one yet, you can find it down in the description uh, and the, the, the finished code as well. So before I continue, I'd like to give some credits to one guy uh, called Cansey Dots, and he has helped me a lot with you know learning React, but also learning how to test. I just wanted to give him some credits for that. Um, he has a great blog. He has courses and, and workshops. He has a has a has a podcast and a great Discord community. So I really recommend you check out his website and yeah, go through uh, some of his content, which is uh, which is really really great. Um, and he is also the guy, be the guy behind the React testing library. So, uh, you know, this guy definitely knows what he is talking about. Um, so yeah, having that said, I just wanted to, uh, to, um, to give him some credits for that. So to continue, let's make a test where we are actually testing props. So if we go back to our app. You will see right here, it says send money to John Doe. Um, Let's imagine we get this value from uh, from something that's being passed as a prop, right? So let's call this um, uh, transfer to person. And of course, if we want to use that, we need to destructure it right here. And this component is uh, being um, um, rendered by our index.js file. So of course here I have to say transfer to person and I can just say uh, let's call this John Doe as well so now you will see that when I save it John Doe should appear again if I refresh it there we go John Doe so let's write a test for that to uh, to check if that's uh, that's actually working and of course now we know that it works but as soon as we start to add new things to our code base um, you know this could something that potentially breaks and is very important. So it's uh, it's not a bad idea to write a test for this. So I will go to the app.test.js file, which is empty right now. And I will make a new test and I will call this um, if um, transfer to person or what was it actually uh transfer tra yeah transfer to person name uh, prop is passed um render the name right something like that and then we have our function so we'll close this so first of all we want to render the uh app component I will import that as well. And it's pretty simple because all we have to do is we can call this, uh, I don't know, uh, Michael Jackson. And then uh, we don't have to do any act because we, you know, this is not depending on user events or clicks or whatsoever. And all we then have to do is say expect. And then we can use our um testing playground extension again to select this this will give us a get by text but of course we have to change this to michael jackson and we want to check if that is in the document and of course we have to input screen from the react testing library so now when I save it and I open up a new terminal uh, and I will run the test. And before I do that, I'd like you to know that it's always a good practice to first let your test fill and then change your test so that it works um, as expected. So let's change this to Michael Jackson one, which is of course this, this should not uh, be, uh, be a, a a test that should pass. So let's check it out. 
So there we go, we have a failing test and it says, was not able to find, um, send money to Michael Jackson one, uh, but it was able to find send money to Michael Jackson. So now we change it and you will see of course that the past now will pass. And the reason I do this is that sometimes, you know, you, you, you make a mistake in your test and you always want to know that uh, or prevent that a test is passing while it is, for example, actually not written correctly and thus showing that it passed but actually failed. So um, that's also what they call uh, like red green testing, which is like more of a thing in, in, in test uh, driven development, which is a little bit out of scope for this video. But uh, keep in mind that it's always a good practice to first let your test fill and then um, make sure it passes. So that was pretty simple. All we had to do was um, pass the property uh, right here. Now the same goes for component composition, right? So if you want to check if, if that's working out, we can uh, essentially render, you know, app uh, and, and some other components in there. So we can just, uh, let's say we have an example component. We could do something like this, right? So we could have like, example of course right now that component does not exist and let's say that component uses the transfer to person um, property as well then we could just do it like this so uh, this would also work with component composition so yeah that was pretty simple um, and uh, we in the next video we're going to take a look at how to test uh, the context API so thanks for watching and I'll see you there